privacy is such a big topic, but let's focus it on your privacy and identity. You might say you have nothing to hide, but I doubt you would give me your email address and password for me to have a look through freely, so you probably do want some privacy. However, it's easy to sign and agree to terms that are more involved in your privacy and identity than you think. This is the Samsung Terms and Conditions that states in the first page that you should read it carefully before agreeing. This particular form was 47,211 words long. Who would read all of that? When signing up to Facebook, your content can be used by them in any way they seem fit practically. A Facebook's license with you does not end upon deletion of your account. Content is only released from the license once all of the users that have interacted with your account have broken their connection to it. For example, being tagged with a group of friends counts. It's like your internet searches. Even if you delete them, they are still there somewhere. So even if you think you've deleted everything, an online identity can still be there hidden. Agreeing to Netflix allows them to know the genres of films and what actors you like. What you watch, when you rewind, pause and skip. They create a profile and identity on you to give you suggestions. So it's good to agree to Netflix and Facebook because the benefits outweigh the consequences, right? In this project, I want to explore the modern day acceptance to sign away your privacy and its relation to your identity. Let's look at you if you agree.